¿Qué onda, Fernando? Hey, ¿Qué hay? ¿Cómo estás, Fernando? I am 27 years old. What about you? Uh, fine. Um, ten. Cinco de diez. Hello. Y si usted fuera yo solo por unas horas. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi, it's good to see you. Well, guys, this is our last class of the module or the first course. Excellent. Congratulations. You could make it. You could finish the first course, beginner one. <laughs> good okay. evening, everybody. Good evening, Fernando. Well, to start with the class today, oops, give me a moment. I need to know something here. Well, in a moment, you will be able to see the class presentation for this evening. Mm -hmm. Today is Wednesday, July 19, 2023. Wednesday, July 19, 2023. Okay, uh, to start with the class, we are going to review the simple present and we are going to review the present continuous. In this course, in this module one, we have studied the simple present and the present continuous <coughs> with the verb to be, okay? In the course number two, you are going to study the simple press, the normal, right? The normal simple present. So we're going to start with some exercises to see how much you can remember from a, this topic. So I'm going to share with you an exercise that we are going to do together. Okay, the simple present tense. Okay, here we have uh, some statements or sentences that we have to complete right using uh, the simple present in affirmative form, right? For example, we have my mom sleeps early every day. Okay, what about the number one? I always Listen, listen. Always listen to music in the morning. Number two, we have. Um, we have, have. 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 We have. We have. Being been shirts at home. At yeah. home. Okay. Number three, Kate and Cynthia. Likes. 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 Exactly. Likes. Without the S. Kate and Cynthia like that TV show. Okay, what about number four? I never watch TV at night. I never watch TV mm -hmm. at night. Okay, number five. We. 
want. want. We want. We want. Yeah, it's very easy, right? Subject, verb, and complement. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. The same. Subject, we have here an adverb of frequency. Verb and complement. Subject, verb, complement. Okay, number six. We have the subject is she. She likes. She likes. She likes. Okay. When we have she, he, and it, it's third person singular, so we add F to the verb. In this case, like. she likes black t-shirts. It's like in the first exercise, my mom sleeps. Why? Because mm. my mom is third person singular, she, right? So my I, I put an S, or I add an F to the verb. Okay, but this is only when we have the subject he, she, and it. They are their person, tercera persona singular, their person singular. What do we do? We add S or E. Yes, or in some cases, I E S to the verb. Example uh, like, like, it, uh -huh, it, it, uh -huh. and we have also. Um, for example, go, go, go. Mm -hmm. okay. and others study, studies. Uh -huh. We drop the I for IES studies. So let's continue with the exercise. Uh, my sister have. have. Ah, okay. Have. When we have, with the verb have, it's an exception. The verb have is irregular. We, it changes. Have, in third person singular, is has. Okay? So in this case, is my sister. Has. Has a new pair of jeans. Then we have a number eight. He. Needs. Needs, exactly, a new uniform. My brother. Likes. Exactly, my brother likes to go shopping at the mall. Okay, number 10. Plays. Ernesto plays. Ernesto plays video games every day. Yes, okay. Very nice. That is in the affirmative form. Affirmative. Now, what happens with the negative form? Okay. Complete the sentences in the simple present in negative form. To make the negative form, it's very easy. The structure is subject plus the auxiliary don't, in the case of the third person singular, the auxiliary is? Does. Doesn't. Doesn't or does not, does. plus the verb. In this case, the verb no lleva la S, okay? Because we use the auxiliary. The S in the third person singular is only in affirmative sentences, okay? Keep that in mind. So let's start with the exercise number 11. How would it be? What is the correct? Not. I. I not movies on Netflix. I don't. I don't not movies on Netflix. I don't, I don't, I don't watch. I don't not watch movies on yes, Netflix. Yes, yes, yes. I 
don't watch movies on Netflix. So, para decir yo no en inglés, o él no, o ella no, we use the auxiliary do, right? Don't, do not or does not. Don't in the contracted form or doesn't in the contracted form, okay? Do not, don't, does not, doesn't. You are going to study this a little bit more in the, the next week, right? When you start the course number two. But this is an introduction, so you already have an idea. You already know about it. And también porque lo hemos visto en clase un poco. Okay, so number 12. We doesn't like. Doesn't is for he, she, and it. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. We don't like. She we don't like. Or it, it, we use does not or does. And the verb. Okay, so it's we don't. We don't like to eat we don't at like. restaurants in the city. We don't like. We don't like. To eat at We don't like to eat at restaurants in the city. Okay, number 13. They, they, they don't work. Exactly. They don't they work. They don't work every day. Okay, very good. Paola and Luis? Don't listen. Yes, don't listen to rock music. <laughs> uh, we? We don't have. We don't have English class on Saturday. Yes, exactly. Just let me let me send a message to I don't know her name. The one person in the WhatsApp group. <laughs> okay, we do have English classes on Saturday, number sixteen. Yeah, okay, this is she. She doesn't have. She doesn't have. She doesn't have English classes. Oh, sorry. Okay. Seventeen. Emily. Emily. Doesn't do. Great, Jennifer. Doesn't do her homework at night. That is the correct form. And eighteen. He doesn't go. Pass and go to the supermarket on the weekend. 19, Manuel. Doesn't like. Doesn't like, that's right, Karina. To eat sushi, sushi here. here. And number 20. Doesn't. My sister doesn't. My sister doesn't. Exercise in the morning. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Doesn't exercise in the morning. Very good. Excellent. And that's all. That's the, all, the whole exercise. Okay. I hope our answers are correct. Very good. You're very intelligent. Congratulations. Excellent. Excellent. Great job. <laughs> good. Very Claps good. For a... Claps for you. <laughs> you are ready to go to the course number two. <laughs> okay. Now, guys, we are going to review the, the simple present with the verb to be. Remember, the verb to be is a special. Verb to be is special. So right now, you will tell me what is the correct form, is or are. So this is going to be very easy for you. This is a piece of K, right? <laughs> so the first one is an. Is. Is reading a book. My sister. Is playing tennis. We. Are. Are listening to music. 
We are listening to music. My brother is sleeping. Is sleeping. They, they are, are studying. They are studying. I am. Um, I am. I am. Sure. Yes, remember <laughs> for I is I. I you are. You are. Uh -huh. You are. Speaking. <coughs> they, they are. are, are, they are cleaning are the house. They are cleaning the house. And Tom is. Oh, is going, going, to going to the cinema and my mother is running. It's running. My mother is running. Mm -hmm. sure. Nice. Excellent. Running is teacher. Yes, Edward? Yeah, running is a uh, career. Can you repeat? Running is correr, is correr. Yes, uh, running. My mom my, is running. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, look and choose the correct answer. We have to choose what is the correct answer. Uh, let me change. We are cooking dinner. We are cooking dinner. Dinner. My aunt is, is driving the car. the car. Yes, my aunt is driving the car. I, I am, am reading, reading a comic. I am reading a comic. They are, are sleeping. sleeping. You are studying. Are studying. You are mm -hmm. studying. Yes, and is doing, doing her, her, is doing her homework. Doing homework. Okay, she is speaking, speaking about, about the, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Okay, Mary. She is singing. singing. Yes, that's correct. Very nice. Now we have to complete the questions. Is Adela play the, plays the guitar? Present, present, continuous. Present, Is Adela playing the guitar? Is Adela playing, right? Playing the guitar? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, Koma, she is. Okay, now the next one is Adam and Susan. Are we are uh -huh. remember when we have questions the verb to be we start the question with the verb to be are Adam and Susan talking, talking to each other yes talking talking to each other yes they are negative no are they aren't no they are no, they aren't. They are angry. They had a discussion. <laughs> they had an argument. No, they aren't. Okay, now John. <clears throat> Is John listening John. to music? Is John... i sorry, it's here. <laughs> Is John listening to music? Listening to music. Yes, he is. She, yes, yes, he is. Okay. Yes, he is. Is Paul buying? Buying. 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 Paul buying a postcard? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Okay, let's make it negative to practice. No, he's not, or no, he isn't. Mr. Cardoso and Mrs. King. And Mrs. Are. Are, that's correct. Are Mr. Cardoso and Miss King. And Mr. King. Sitting. 
same. Sitting on a tram. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Or yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> On a tram? Yes. Teacher, what do I mean in tram? It's, uh, well, we don't have this type of transportation in our country, but it's like a trolley. Um, it's like the, the mix of a bus and a, in a, in a train. Oh, I got it. Thank you. But we don't have it in El Salvador. <laughs> It says tranvía, tranvía. Very good. Perdón, ¿cómo, ¿cómo es en español? Tranvía. Ah, ok, ok, gracias. Uh -huh. You're welcome, Jennifer. Very good. So, thank you for your participation. Now, guys, we are going to practice vocabulary in this um, in this course, we have studied, we have, you have learned new words in English. So I want you to, we are, I'm going to ask you and you will tell me, for example, you can raise your hand and you can tell me, right? For example, if I ask you, but remember to raise your hand, okay? And you will get points. You will get points um, if you say, if you can say the vocabulary that I am asking. Okay, the first is, what are the days of the week? You can raise your hand and tell me the days of the week. What are the it? days of the week? Okay, Fernando? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very good, okay. What are the months of the year? Karina? January, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You miss one month, the previous month. Before July? February. No, before July? January, uh, August. Yeah. She said June. She said June. June. She said June, teacher. June. June. Yeah. Okay. Say it. You can write it in your notebook, right? Days of the week and also months of the year. That is important. Days of the week will start with Monday, Tuesday. Y los días de la semana, the days of the week, always start with a capital letter. Siempre empiezan con, con mayúscula. Wednesday, en inglés, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? You can see it in the, what, in the chat. Or maybe I will share the, the PowerPoint presentation. Can you see it? Okay, we're gonna have vocabulary review. Okay, what about the months, the months of the year? Karina said January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. Can you tell me when is your birthday? When is your birthday? Can, me lo pueden escribir ahí en el chat? When is your birthday? December. But, but, but you say, my birthday is on December. 
I will write my exam. My birthday is on December 18th. Y cuando decimos la fecha, usamos el número ordinal. No vimos los números ordinales, ¿verdad? Sí, no vea, creo que no. No, mis. Ok, le voy a decir los, los más que se usan. First, todos los que terminan en first, second, le ponemos ND. Third, fourth, fifth. Ok, first, le ponemos el ST porque es lo como termina la palabra first. Second and D. ¿Ven? ¿Se bien? Primero. Uh -huh. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Tenth. Eleventh. Twelfth. Etc. Ok, we have here. Pero para decir, pero no me han puesto el día, solo me ponen el mes. Si usted solo dice el mes, se dice in June, in April, in May. Pero cuando usamos el on, tenemos que decir el mes y el día. Uh -huh. My birthday is in March. Very good, Karina. My birthday is on April 19th. Excellent. Okay, and the others? My birthday is on December 1st. My birthday is on June 20th. Okay, Fernando? Okay. I have another question. What day is tomorrow? What is the date? What is tomorrow's date? Very good, Hazel. My birthday is on May 5th. On May 5th. On December, my birthday is on December 13th. Okay, very good. My birthday on my... <laughs> Good. So now if I ask you what's tomorrow's date? Tomorrow is Thursday. What's tomorrow's date? And we say tomorrow is what day is tomorrow? Thursday. Thursday, exactly. Thursday. And then the month, the month, February, December, September, July. 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 And the day? Thursday. 20th. 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 Tomorrow is Thursday, July 20th. And the year? 20. 2023. 2023. Yes, that's correct. Tomorrow is Thursday, July 20th. Tomorrow is July 20th. Very good. Okay, more vocabulary review. And now, guys, I want you to tell me do you remember the vocabulary for clothes? Can you tell me all the words that you remember about clothes? Or accessories, clothes and accessories. Blows, pants, boots, and earrings, boot, shirt, earrings, t-shirt, jeans, okay, jeans, shirt, suit, shirt, suit, skirt, skirt. hat. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm. <coughs> Blouse. Blouse. 
dress. T-shirt. What? Hmm? Like on. Watch, can you repeat what do you say? Nightgown. Night Bag. Jacket. A scarf. Head scarf. Yeah. Uh -huh. Socks, shoes. Ah, ya, ya entendí la que me querían decir. Necklace. No le llamaba cuál es. Necklace. <coughs> Necklace. Ok, sneakers, los sports shoes, sneakers. Sandals. Shoes, pair, chaleco. Uh -huh. Great. Very nice. So this is for socks. socks. Yes, don't forget your socks. Cap. I am in socks right now. <laughs> You're wearing socks. I am wearing socks, teacher. I am wearing a dress and a necklace. Look at my necklace. Do you like it? I'm wearing a dress and a necklace. An earring. A cup. Okay, a cup. Tea. Tie. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. So those four clothes and accessories. Okay, what about a vocabulary for food? What vocabulary about food do you remember? Apple. Chicken. Potato. Apple. Apples. Orange. Fruit. Uh, orange. This could be food and food and drinks. Milk. Water. Orange Soda. juice. Soda. Soda. Milk shaker. Water. Oh, yes. Coffee. <laughs> How do you say cebolla? Beans. Onion, onion. Onion, yes. Okay. Julio said beans are very important. Beans and cheese. You can don't forget the cheese. How do you okay. say elote? Carrot. Corn. Corn, yes. Bread. Carrot. Bread. Mm -hmm. Cabbage. Yes, cabbage. To make curtido. Yeah, I love so much. And it's good for your health. How do you say guineo? Banana. Banana. How do you say fresa? A strawberry. Strawberry. Blueberry. Okay. I love blueberry. Yeah. They are watermelon. Good. Watermelon is delicious. Mm. It's very juicy. Beer. Pears, pancakes, mangoes, mangoes, melon, eggs. Now I'm getting hungry. Cookies. Melon. Don't Pan. forget the don't forget the delicious coffee. Lemon coffee. Cupcake. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Brownie. <laughs> yes, a lot of dessert. Brownie. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> now, guys, let's see the colors. Do you remember the colors? Yes, yeah, right. red, Ooh, yellow, green, uh -huh. pink, black, light blue. White. 
brown 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 brown, brown light gold gold okay gray gold black green excuse me silver gray silver gray beige fuchsia orange yellow orange silver yes it's here Sky blue or blue sky? Sky blue. Golden. Yeah, it's there. Purple. I think the sky will Or sky blue. Or purple. <laughs> sky brown. So yellow, white. <clears throat> well, I think all these are like the most common colors. Now, let's review, guys, activities. Free time activities. Mm -hmm. Free time activities. For example. Watch TV. Okay, watch TV. Run. Go watch a movie. Walking. Walk. Walk. Sleep. Walk. <laughs> I, I would say take a nap, okay? <laughs> take a nap. <laughs> because sleep is part of your, sleeping is part of your routine, right? Something we must do. <laughs> but eat out, comer afuera maybe? Eat out, eat out. Camping. Go play. Camping. Uh -huh. Play games. what? Play games. Play yeah. games. Playing. Video games Me. or board games or sports games. Football. Mm -hmm. and swimming. Okay, go Me. swimming. Play sports, I play soccer. Travel. Okay, travel. Go sightseeing. What is the lugar a, a solo a ver, a pasear, solo a ver. Go sightseeing. More activities? Meet friends. Reunirse con los amigos, meet friends, have a barbecue. Go to the movie, ya está, ¿verdad? Go to the movies. Mm. Listen to music. No, I don't have to. Read. Go to the drink. Coffee. <clears throat> Read a book. Have a cup, cup of coffee. Go running. Go running. Ir a las cataratas del Niagara. No sé cómo se dice. Go to the waterfall. Okay, so those are different activities that we can do in our free time. Now, what about daily activities? Daily activities, activities that we do every day. Take the breakfast. Take a shower. Mm -hmm. Work. Okay, take a shower, go to work or work. Take have, a bus. Uh -huh, have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or a snack. Eh, ay, alguien dijo una de sus cosas. Take a bus. Take the bus. Drive to work. Answer emails. Make up. Make up. Wake up. Wake up. The most difficult. The most difficult activity. 
<ríe> Mike. <ríe> Maquillaje, teacher. Maquillarse, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, makeup, makeup. Puro makeup. Ponerse el maquillaje. Puro makeup. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit difficult sometimes. Okay, comb your hair. What else? Wash the dishes. Make lunch or dinner or breakfast. Prepare it, make it. A study. Study, do homework. I don't remember how to say alimentar a los mascotas. You don't remember? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh huh. Bañar mis perros. No sé cómo se dice bañar. Uh huh. Alimentar. Do you remember? Oh yeah, yeah. Feed, 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 feed the, the pet. pet. Right. Uh huh. Bañar. Wash. Wash the dog or the cat. Or wash your pet. Eat the three times. Mm -hmm. No, 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 le entendí. Wash closet. Wash. My favorite hobby, listen to music. Hey, they okay, but that's a hobby. But activities you have to do daily, want it or not, get or no, want it, want it or not, you have to do it. It's the three times, okay. Eat, yeah, it's like have breakfast, have yeah. breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Also, guys, sleep, uh, or go sleep, to yeah, bed. sleep, bed, cleaning the house. Clean the house, yes. Yeah, but okay, no lo hacen mucho because you don't remember. <laughs> clean the house, do the clean shopping. Clean the floor. Clean the floor. Uh -huh, clean the floor or mop the floor. Mop the floor, trapear. Sweep the floor, barrer. Cook, cook the food. Uh -huh, cook. Dos. Clean the kitchen. Uh -huh. Very nice, very nice. Drink okay. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> In the afternoon with the neighbor. <laughs> okay, very good, guys. You see, you have learned a lot of vocabulary. And we can continue here, right, talking about more vocabulary. And that's great. For example, adjectives. adjectives. But right now, we have like 20 minutes so that you can present your, your presentation about your favorite person. So I would like to know who's going to start, but before you start, may, before you get ready, I'm going to take the attendance. So please say present or here. Aleida Marilyn Gomez. Aleida Marilyn Gomez. Okay, absent. Alvin de Jesús Cuchilla. Alvin de Jesús. Ana Maricela Vázquez. Present. Ana Silvia Joachín de Escobar. Present, teacher. Okay. Angie Ivette Romero. Present. Cecilia Verónica Hernández. Christopher Alejandro Goches. Christopher. Claudia Clímaco. 
Daniel Ariza Romero, eh, David Ernesto Tolosa, Danis Rosalía Hernández, Present. Edward Steven Pérez, Present. Emily Susana Ramos, Present. Oh, ok. Emanuel Eliseo de León, Fernando Enrique López, Here. Ok. Francisco Javier Cortés. Present. Gabriela María Reyes. Glenda Karina Baños. Present. Hazel Beatriz Abarca. Present. Jacqueline Janet Guzmán. Jacqueline. Jennifer Ivón. Here. Jorge, okay, Jennifer. Jorge Beltrán, Jorge Ernesto Martínez, José Alberto López, Jocelyn Esmeralda Rosales, Julio César Reyes, Present Miss, okay, Julio Echeverría. Julio Echeverría, I saw him. Yes, it's connected. Carla Navarro. Present teacher. And Carla Lucia. Okay, okay, Julio. Very nice. So uh, now who's going to start with the presentation about your favorite person? Who's going to start? A ver, ya todos ya me mandaron, todo está bien. ¿Cuál es el miedo? You can do it. <laughs> Steven, you're going to start, Steven. Papá. Papá. <laughs> Steven, are you going to start? Okay. okay. Steven will be the number one, the number two, Julio, number three, Hanson, number four, Karina, number five, Denise. Ok, vamos a dejar hasta allá, hasta el 5 y luego vemos quiénes continúan. Ok, you can start, Edward. Era de, de lo que hicimos ayer o de lo que mandamos. No se escucha. I'm sorry about your favorite person. It's yeah. about your favorite person. Ah. Favorite person is my cousin. He is sorry. Repeat. My favorite person is cousin. He is uh, 16 years old. He like to watch um uh, uh, Animation, the lights, computer, his study is three, tail, his third year of night school as a public uh, count his better. Finish. Thank you, Edward Steven. Thank you for your presentation. Okay, Julio. Okay, um, my favorite person is my boyfriend. My boyfriend's name is Vincent. He's 30, um, 31 years old. He's tall. Um, he's my favorite person because of his intelligence, responsibility, and very creative. 
Um, he love um, great love for writing. In, in fact, the he write very interesting story. Um, he like uh, coffee. Um, he he like hamburger. Um, he like a uh, watch series, a uh, strange thing. Um, it's all. It's all. Okay, thank you so much, Julio. Okay, we continue with Hazel and Karina. I am Hazel. Okay, um, my favorite person is my mother. My mother name is Maria. She's 45 years old. She is tall and beautiful. I like my mother. She pampers me a lot. She is from San Salvador. She likes to lie in the country because she likes plants. And she is my favorite person because she loves coffee uh, as much I do. She cook co some delicious soup. Soup. The food I like the most the, that she make is lasagna. Okay, Hazel, good job. Okay, Karina? Okay. My favorite people are my babies. My baby's names are Mateo and Javier. Mateo is eight years old and Javier is seven months. They are very beautiful. I love my babies because they are happy and very nice. My other babies, my older baby spends time studying and sleeping. His love sleep, sleeping all time. My little baby spent time eating, playing, and sleeping too. He likes eating milk. It's your favorite food right now. They are a good sons. I love them. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Babies. <laughs> okay. What about Denise or Fernando? My favorite, Jordan. Yes, my favorite person is my best friend. My best friend name is Jessica. She is born. She's twenty five years old. I like it a lot because he um, advise me to go out to eat. It most beautiful quality are a good friend. He knows how to listen to me. Thank you. Your favorite person, your best friend. Great, Denise. Fernanda, Okay, my favorite person is my best friend, Elsie. Sorry, her name is Elsie. She is 18 years old. I love my best friend because she always advised me. She is the best. She also is a student. She always studies so much because she is very smart, intelligent. <laughs> she loves the Stitch movie, Lilo and Stitch movie. And I like to that, that, that movie. She loves to listen to music, the same, the same kind of music of me. And she loves very much to drink Chocolatina. <laughs> uh, I love her because she is very beautiful and smart and because she is my best friend. Great, Fernando. Thank you. What about Jennifer, Ana Silvia, 
Ana Marisela, pobre Carla, Jennifer. My favorite, favorite person, my, my mother name is Angie. She is 58 old, years old. She is from San Marcos because she has she has taught no sé cómo se pronuncia me that in life you have to be strong he uh, he has high his conditional love um the he will always better for me Okay, Jennifer, thank you so much. So it was your mother, right? Yes. Okay, so just don't forget to say she. She. I escuché un he. I think it's a she. Okay, um, next. I vi una manita. Ana Marisela. My favorite person is my soul. He is 70 year old. His favorite color is blue. I love it to my camping. I be in natural coursing. I student his first grad garden and had his had aperture searching a young a young Gordon to discovering his favorite. The player is soccer. For me, I see to take this world. Finish. Okay, Ana Marisela, thank you for your participation. Okay, so it's your son. Your son is your favorite person. Yes. Okay. And he is that seven years old. Eh, sí, quería decir que tiene siete años. Okay, yeah, he lives in 70. <laughs> like seven. <laughs> seven <laughs> years old. Okay, good. Thank you, Ana. Okay, next. Christopher Alejandro. Yo puedo decir eh, lo que pienso. Vale. Eh, my... My person is my dad. He's 40 years old. My dad is amazing because he's like to better every day. Okay, Christopher. And what is your father's name? ¿Cuál es la edad? No. Your father's name. Ah, okay. My father's name is Richard. Richard. And how old is he? No, no muy bien entendí, señor. Okay. How old is he? Here, I, I hear 40 years old. Ah, uh -huh, 40. 40. He's 40 Six. years old. Okay, thank you. Good, thank next. You. Who is next? Carlita, Francisco, Julio. Yo, teacher. Okay. Uh, my favorite person. My favorite person is my father. My dad is... Uh, 36, así se 36, ¿verdad? 36, 36. Uh -huh. George Orr. He's a nice person, although he can be very serious. When we have time, we talk about things we like. We share my things in common, such as our passion for soccer and movies. Okay, Francisco, yeah. thank you. You can make it. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we're going to uh, 
finish with the presentations right now because we have only one more minute. And let me tell you that the people that are connecting today, um, well, you are the ones who are survivors. <laughs> you are brave people because even though maybe you have different obstacles, difficulties, it's not easy to connect from 9 to 10 p.m. Maybe you are running from work. Maybe you are tired, you're sleepy, but you are here in the class. That means that you really, really, really want to learn English. You want to speak English and you will get it, guys. So my message is to never give up. Never give up. Learning a new language is not easy. It takes time, effort, and a perseverance and a lot of practice, but you will get it, okay? You will get it. Lo van a lograr. So please continue, continue making your best, okay? That's my message for you, so that you can Thank continue. Thank you so much, teacher. Of course. <laughs> yes, may, I think you will have a different teacher, but remember that you can learn from uh, different people. We learn from different people. Maybe uh, the new methodology can help you better, right? With the other teacher. <laughs> so, uh, but I will be um, available if you need to make a question or if you have any doubt, you have my number. And if I can, I can help you, okay? So I don't know if you have any comments I would like to know your opinion. Me gustaría saber que, que, cómo se sintieron en esta primera experiencia para algunos en este curso. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay. okay, primero Fernando y luego Karina. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let me tell you, teacher, uh, it was a big, big pleasure to have you like a teacher. You are very amazing. Really, really. And we love you so much. And thank you for for all the, 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 the time you have for us. Thank you so much. And we love you. Oh, thank you, Fernando, for your words. <laughs> thank you for your participation <laughs> in class. Karina? Yo solo voy a decir español. <laughs> it's okay. Sí, gracias. Porque sí, la verdad que lo que dijo Fernando, sí, es una excelente maestra. Y siento que nos explicó al principio si sí, me sentí algo nerviosa porque no mucho la entendía, pero así hemos ido aprendiendo. Así que gracias por su dedicación. <risa> y si se fijan, <risa> casi no les hablé español. Ustedes pudieron entender, sí. aunque solo les hablaba inglés. Sí, así. al principio sí no entendía casi nada, pero ahí agarramos. Pero es normal, <risa> es normal. Quizás decían, la estaba hablando en chino, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Cabal, pero cabal. es normal cuando uno está aprendiendo un nuevo idioma y, y lo bueno es que han avanzado bastante, yo he podido ver el avance que han tenido desde el día 1 ahora, el día 18 porque hemos tenido 18 clases con ustedes sí. aunque solo son 16 pero por pues, otras razones nos tocó 18 Julia sí. Sí, mi, eh, bueno, igual yo en español <risa> um, no, la verdad que gracias por aguantarnos, bueno, aguantarme personalmente. Um, creo que el, el tener esta dedicación, esta pasión de ser maestro no es de cualquiera. Peor cuando se habla de enseñar otro idioma y el tener esa paciencia, esa, esa, eh, eh, esa jovialidad de poder explicar incluso hasta dos, tres, cuatro veces la, las veces que sea necesario. Y en, mi, en, en lo personal... Eh, este curso, pues, el, este curso de tiempo ha sido muy provechoso. En serio, mil gracias. Más allá de la enseñanza, sino también de la perseverancia que eh, usted nos transmitió a todos, pues, porque la verdad, la verdad, eh, me animé a estudiar inglés eh, por lo mismo que quiero viajar a Londres y todo lo demás, entonces necesito hablar inglés. Eh, pero más allá de eso, pues me, me, me deja usted motivado a seguir aprendiendo ese idioma. Y es un reto, la verdad, un reto. Y, y no, mil gracias. 
Creo que eso es todo. Mil gracias por aguantarme. <risa> qué bueno, qué bueno que, que es, eso es ay, uno de los objetivos. Vean que se sigan sintiendo motivados para seguir aprendiendo. Ok, no sé si alguien más o nos quedamos aquí. Yo, yo señor, yo. ¿Qué crees que yo? Eh, creo, que, creo que la verdad, eh, al principio, mira, al principio le voy a ser sincero, yo literalmente no entendía un, muchas cosas, algunas cosas, y iba entendiendo porque gracias a, la, a, pues, a Duolingo, porque antes yo recibía clases así en Duolingo, entonces yo, yo fui aprendiendo, entonces yo decía, ah, esto es lo que va diciendo la, la teacher, entonces, pero conforme a todo lo que usted nos enseñó, fui aprendiendo, fui adquiriendo conocimiento, y la verdad es que muy atenta a usted, muy así, con mucha paciencia, la verdad es que estar aquí, pues, aquí enseñando clases de inglés no es fácil, la verdad, porque estar con una paciencia de que entendió, si no entendió, se lo vuelvo a repetir, y así, y usted bien atenta, la verdad, y, bueno, con el, con, con el conocimiento, pues, creo que nos enseñó, bueno, en mi persona creo que me enseñó demasiado, hoy sí, todavía los nervios, porque todavía tengo un poquito de nervios, pero hay unas palabras que, más que todo, todo, pues, nos lo enseñó, y, pues, muchas gracias por eso, señor. Ay, ok, Christopher, thank you for your words. <laughs> ok, guys, we need to finish. If you want to say something, you can type it in the chat, in the group, ok? But I hope you have a good rest and see you soon. Who knows? Maybe in the future, ok? <laughs> good night. Bye. Bye.